so now we shall learn thales theorem it is also called as bpt basic proportionality theorem the statement if a line is drawn if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle of a triangle comma divides the divides the other two sides proportionally proportionally so here you are observing in this statement if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle here we have a comma before the comma this is known as assumption and after the comma it reads divides the other two sides proportionally this part after the comma is called conclusion so here a statement consists of two parts one is assumption another is conclusion so let's start deriving this abc is a triangle in which de is drawn parallel to bc let me write data in triangle abc de is parallel to bc to prove that ad by bd is equals to AE by EC. To prove this, we need construction. Here I carry out construction in the form of I draw DE, sorry, DM perpendicular on AC and EN perpendicular on AB and later I am going to join B with E and C with D. I am going to join this. Okay. So draw DM perpendicular to AC or perpendicular on AC comma En perpendicular on AB and join BE comma C proof. Here you are observing two triangles. One is ADE is a one triangle, another is BDE. Both are standing on AD, one is standing on AD, another is standing on BD. So let me write area of triangle ADE divided by area of triangle BDE. As you know that area of triangles can be obtained by using a formula half into base. Base here is AD into height of this triangle is EN. 
en is the height next area of triangle bd the base is half into base base is bd and the height of this triangle bde is also en this is because of area of triangle is equals to half into base into height now cancel this cancel this half of get cancel e and e and get cancel then area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle bde equals in the right hand side we have only ad by bd ad by bd i call this as equation number 1 so let me erase this statement and data even to prove that the next part continues here area of triangle aed divided by area of triangle C E D C E D is equals to half into base. Base of this triangle is A E D is A E, and the height of this triangle is D M. In this triangle, area of triangle is C E D. C E is the base. D M is the height. So half into CE into DM. This is also because of area of triangle is equals to half into base into height. This half, this half get cancel. This DM, DM get cancel. Then we have area of triangle AED. Divided by area of triangle CED equals we have AE by AE by CE. I call this as equation number two. Here, if you observe BCED is a a trapezium here. On this trapezium. BDE triangle and CED triangle both are standing on the same base DE and they are lying between same parallel BC and DE hence the area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle CED so we know that we know that area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle ced because triangles on same base on same base between same parallels are equal in area equal in area so from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 you can see area of triangle ade divided by area of triangle bde to area of triangle aed divided by area of triangle ced so both the numerators are same but only the denominators here and this are different but we have proved that these two things are equal to each other that means the area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle ced so from 1 and 2 we can write ad by ad by bd is equal to ae by c hence proved